so thank you all very much for being with us. Museum in the Digital Age, uh, tonight's panel will look at some of the opportunities that digital tools offer to museum curators and experts, to artists and researchers. We'll look at how digital tools expand the scope of museums and make art and artifacts more accessible to a large audience, an audience that is increasingly familiar with digital media. As you see, digitization affects art and cultural institutions in very many ways. It opens new paths for the communication and expansion of cultural offerings and thereby creates new opportunities of cultural participation for everybody. There were massive fears that putting your collection online would somehow make the physical museum unnecessary, a thing of the past. However, these fears proved unfounded. Attendance at museums is up since the 1990s. The internet has proven an unbelievable boom by democratizing access to their content and promoting conversations and the public to engage in interactions with collections and curators in a way never before thought possible. At the Moritz House in The Hague, they give you a choice of five paintings in the front hall you can insert your own face in instantly and send to friends. We have heard about the Leibniz Research Museums. The German Mining Museum is one, but I want to give you a short overview about these museums. As one of the directors, this group of eight museums of the Leibniz Association, digital word and creating in a technical museum, you can bring the object in action, you can show hidden information, inner information of object details, and at least you can show the influence on the object of the operator. I want to present um, the uh, 1938 project exhibition. The idea behind the project was to commemorate the year 1938 as a crucial year in the history of German and Austrian Jews. Um, our goal was to uh, cover the entire year day by day uh, with historical materials representing each day in the calendar. So we are reaching out to um, audiences around the world. This um, is uh, an example from Facebook. Here is um, Twitter. So these are hashtags where you can find any kind of relation to our theme or to resonance the project I work with. We invited through uh, internet, we invited um, all, everyone in the world to contribute a soundtrack. This was the first artist I got, this was John Zorn, New York based um, music artist. This is a conversation by Alexander Kluge, who's a scientific person, um, one of the 220 sounds will be present. So everyone last 60 seconds, 30 seconds break. Yes, 31 million people coming to our website, which, I mean, it's, it's kind of awesome. We are constantly digitizing the artworks. We, have, we digitize about 10,000 to 20,000 artworks every year. Currently, we have about 460,000 artworks are digitized. Because in February 2017, we made a decision to release every single image of a public domain artwork available with a CC0 license or open access license. So it means that anyone now can, can use the images of the Met Collection, high resolution images, basically however they want. They're open. You can download them, you can remix them, you can share them, you can... It's a collection, it's a set of images now that you can connect with in a way that is most relevant to you. This is a public domain image. You can download it, and we've made the highest resolution image available, so it means that you can then zoom into it uh, once you've downloaded, and anyone can start using these images, and it's pretty fantastic. Um, it means you get the art out to people. We had this wonderful artist, Simone Seagal, who took two artworks from a collection and remixed them. Um, so you have Kandinsky, which she chose to animate, and one of our 20th century prints. And do you know what amuses me about this? Um, like there, are, there are things now happening with a collection that we're not even aware of. And the idea that digital artists today are building on works that happened before them, to building on the works in the collection, and, and that's enabling creativity, I think is, I believe is awesome. Um, and it's something we need to continue. No, I just wanted to come back to this uh, role of the curator and the museum staff in the process of the digitization. Um, I think digitization is 
for us a possibility to help to change the museum, to help us to understand in what way we have to change today, to make everybody involved so that it becomes really a tool of an entire change of the museum, not just a tool of communication or a tool of distribution, but of change, of inner internal change of the museum. What will be most interesting and where I think we will really this conversation will really start resonating is when we start thinking entirely differently about what the digital experience of an art world is. And I don't think we are, I, I think we're literally just like scratching very softly at the surface, and I think that's where it will get much more interesting.